What's going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. We're outside on a cloudy, overcast day. Uh, we're going to be shooting some portraits on the Mamiya RC67 Pro 2 with the Portra 400 film stock. I kind of didn't know what film to use this morning, so hey, when in doubt, Portra 400 out. I'll catch you on the video. I wasn't playing when I said I didn't know which film stock to actually use. I had Sydney's outfit all picked out uh, via our photo inspo pics and just thinking to myself like I don't know which film would like kind of be best for this because again the weather for that day was reading a little bit sunny for that morning but it ended up turning out to be a partly cloudy day. It rained a little bit right before we showed up to the location so I was really just telling myself you know what it's gonna be cloudy um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a box of Portra 400 from the fridge because the Portra look gives that warm tone. So it definitely could add to the dynamic of that just gray, dull, overcast day. But based on the pictures that I included in the first part of the video, I feel that I made the right decision in terms of going with the Portra brand film. I'm starting to learn, too, about the different color codings of the packages, like the brownish gold color that the Portra comes in or the uh, Kodak 200 Go, all the Kodak brand film, you know, it's because it gives off that warmer colors uh, versus say like maybe the Fuji Color 400H, which comes in the purple and white package and has more of the greens uh, more accentuated in the highlights. So, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit more of a deeper understanding of the color meanings of each film. So I've been having some issues recently with like uh, properly like getting my film sealed up. So. I, I hate licking these things like envelopes. I know, right? So I am. And that is as tight as can be, y'all. So we found this nice little bus of flowers here. I am going to rate this uh, roll of Portra 400 at around a 200. My shutter speed is going to be at 250th of a second. And then I'm going to probably have my aperture at a four and really just uh, overexpose it a little bit to let more light in and kind of really capture the essence of like these flower colors in the background. In hindsight, I probably would just keep this box rated at the native ISO 400 speed just because I'm um, looking at these images that were displayed on the screen. I like the warmer tones from earlier compared to these right here. Now the flower colors, they look beautiful. The greens, the yellows, they're popping right there. 
Uh, but in terms of like Sydney's skin tone, I would have preferred a little bit of a warmer look straight out of camera. Instead, you know, it's a little bit lighter because I rated this at 200 ISO to overexpose it by a stop. So you can see the images on the screen here, the ones that I took at the beginning of the video versus the ones next to the flowers. Again, I know we're in two different locations during the shoot, but I kind of felt that the skin tones could have been a little bit similar. And again, this due to me overexposing the images, at least I believe it is. The flowers look really, really nice. Like those colors are popping and vibrant and everything. Get away from me.